financial alignment of politicians' actions. One of the reasons why, probably the major reason actually, why politicians can do things that are not helpful for the average person is because there's a disconnect between the incentives for um, politicians and their constituents. So, you know, to get reelected, they have to really cater to, you know, big money uh, donors, obviously, in most cases. Uh, not everyone, but, but most politicians. And um, even their salaries are not dictated by the results that they uh, produce. So in, in most industries, you know, if you don't do a good job, get fired. I mean, the voters could still now vote you in, but your salary is usually dependent upon uh, your skills and uh, your results. So for being a politician, if you want to really align them with the citizens, then politicians' salaries should be aligned with how much uh, uh, citizen salaries uh, are and go up. So, you know, set set the, uh, you know, politician's salary at a certain, you know, X. Uh, ratio to what the average citizen makes and then you know if the average citizen uh, goes up then the politician salary goes up and if the average citizen goes down correspondingly the the politician goes down in that way every decision that they make will be aligned towards helping the constituents to do better because um you know right now they can just make a decision if it hurts a lot of people uh you know, but but helps them, um, and uh, there's no recourse for that. There's no you know misalignment except for not being voted back in. So the same thing for financial and for income can also be applied to quality of life. The the uh, the members of Congress and senators and representatives they should get the same health care that is available to citizens. Um, so if they want to get better health care, then they have to get it for everybody. Um, so we have like, uh, you know how like in some companies they have two classes of stock so that the founders can't really be removed because like they're more important than everyone else. We have kind of an elite, you know, representative class that's supposed to be representing us. But and some people say actually in the future, like when we have the blockchains, we might not actually need representatives. We might be able to have almost full democracy. I don't know if people have time for that, but the capabilities will be there um, technologically. But uh, getting back to the other point, that um, uh, these the uh, politicians, um, they need to be aligned, you know, to make things more equitable so that they can only get uh, what the citizens can get. Otherwise, they... Um, you know, can just do things that are that are not helpful to people, but that are helpful to them. Um, the other thing is that uh, that's where the whole emoluments clause came in, and other things. But that only deals with like you know personal benefit and corruption. It doesn't deal actually with policy. If you align the interests between like income, health care, other things, so that the politicians only get what the average person gets, um, you know, or on a prorated basis, then it's a, it's the, then the interests are aligned. Another factor, another example is. You know, during the shutdown, um, you know, politicians uh, still get paid. So, I mean, that's crazy that, yeah, they can shut down the government. You know, the federal workers don't get paid, but the senators and congressmen still get paid. Uh, you know, people lose government services, but there's a, you know, what's their incentive to keep the government open? I mean, if their paychecks are being cut. There was a famous example, I think it might have been back in 2013 or so, where they shut, they allowed the FAA, FAA to shut down, and then when they wanted to go back home and they couldn't get flights, they brought it back up in a matter of hours. So if they were not getting paid during the shutdown, you could be quite sure that, that, that quite a few shutdowns, uh, less shutdowns would occur. And if they if they missed a paycheck or two, you could be sure that you know they would reopen government probably much much more quickly.